voice, that doesn't mean anything. This is playoff rugby, and anything can happen. I should be talking, right? Is my voice being recorded? Okay. Um, let's just we have a luck. Reed is on the offensive, but deep in their own territory. We'll s oh, never mind. Aurora has the ball now. Looks like they're going to try to swing it out wide. Good tackle, good tackle. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, looks like there was a penalty called, it's going to be Aurora's ball, nope, it's going to be Regis's ball, and they're going to kick to touch here, off the penalty, and there it is, out of bounds, mm, almost hit, hit somebody on the sideline. Okay, so we're going to form a line out here. It's going to be Regis' throw in. And. And Regis is preparing to throw in. There's the lift and the throw. And Regis is going to form a maul. And they're really moving it. That's good. And the ball's out. Ooh, brought down. Let's see. Oh, penalty. Uh, it's going to be ball to Regis. And we'll see what they do here. It's probably, it looks like it's going to be, they're going to kick to touch. Here, and go for another line out. And try their luck again. Mm. Here we go. Not exactly sprinting to the line out, but that's okay. It's a long game, and you don't want to waste your energy on the off parts of the game when you're not playing. <laughs> oh, he's held up. What is... Okay, there's the scrum. Ball out to Aurora. Oh, and a nice kick by Aurora, nice and high. Oh, dropped by Regis' fullback. Let's see if he can recover. That's some nice running there. Oh, but he drops the ball. Possession gained by Aurora. And can he stand? Oh, the Aurora player taken to touch. That's going to be Regis's line out. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and throws in to Regis. Oh, and kicks straight back into touch. It's going to be Aurora's line out now. <laughs> oh, a messy throw and Regis gains possession. Form a ruck, and Regis has an advantage here. Aurora hasn't been able to set up on defense yet, but can they capitalize? <clears throat> it looks like they've been stopped. Oh!
Regis kicks to touch. And that's going to be Regis's. Regis is going to get to throw into the line out very close to the try line. They have been dominating possession of this game so far. A nice throw by Regis. Oh! There's a penalty called. A penalty called. Let's see. On Aurora. That's going to be Regis' ball. Oh, and the kick to touch again. They're going to have another line out. Even closer to the try line. This is a perfect opportunity for Regis to score here. Okay. The hooker has the ball. He throws it. We just get it and they form a mall. It's not really going anywhere. And it's starting it's a little bit messy and they get it out. It's out to Regis' back line, but oh! What happened? That was messy and Aurora may have taken possession. Aurora has possession of the ball and they get it out. Oh! And they oh and they get it out to their wing with space but he gets tackled. Offload to the fullback. Can he do it? Oh, and the fullback taken into touch again. That's going to be another line out to Regis. Regis throws the ball in. Offload to the hooker, who takes it, but he's brought down. Mm. There's a penalty on Aurora again. Aurora's been racking up the penalties here, and uh, that's going to be pretty detrimental to them in the long run if they can't fix it. Regis is going to take the kick to touch. And they're going to get another line out uh, in close to the try line. Let's see if they're able to capitalize on it this time. Okay. They're set up. Lift. Oh. That's, that's a penalty. The line out was called for not being thrown straight down the channel and Aurora is going to take a scrum. Mm. This is the first scrum of the game and it'll be our first chance to see uh, the forward packs in a scrum situation. And how they act. Oh! And the ball goes straight through the tunnel without being hooked and so it's called back and we're gonna have a scrum down again another scrum down to Aurora Oh, and that time, and that's gonna be a penalty. It's gonna be Aurora's ball. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Free kick for Aurora. Oh, Regis the fullback is gonna drop the kick. As he touches it down in the try zone. Which is Yeah, I was thinking. 
That's going to be a 22 for Regis. A 22 meter kick. Mm -hmm. And he gets the kick off over the people attempting to block it. And there goes Aurora's fly half with a nice run straight through the Regis defense. And uh, he's brought down. Oh, and the ball is dropped. Regis has poached the ball. And are now running with it. Mm. To rock form, the ball seems to be caught in there somewhere, and they can't get it out. Hmm? Oh, gotcha. And it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. No scoring yet in this game. They, these two teams appear to be pretty evenly matched. Although Regis has spent most of the game playing with the ball in Aurora's half of the field which could prove to be advantageous later on in the game. And a, and a Regis player taken into touch, that's going to be a line out to Aurora. Oh, and Regis poaches the ball off the line out. Good work. Oh, but, but Aurora's going to get the penalty and take a tap and go. And, and they caught Regis on their heels there. Oh. Oh. Oh, and Regis has poached the ball, but there was a penalty called. Let's see what it is. Looks like it's going to result in a scrum down to Regis. Hey, I'm good. I'm and the ball in. Let's see. And this scrum is wheeled quite a bit, but he gets the ball out, and there's a kick, and can Regis, oh, but it goes to touch before Regis can recover it. That's going to be a line out to Aurora. Which is another one of Aurora's lineouts. This is uh, Aurora keeps overthrowing their jumper, and Regis has been able to uh, steal those overthrows. Aurora's going to have to fix that later in the game if they want to win. Oh, and Regis loses the ball. Aurora now running with it. And he just keeps going. They can't bring him down. But there's a penalty called. It's going to be a knock-on on Aurora, which is going to result in a scrum down. Regis is put in. Okay, the mark is set, and the two forward packs are beginning to bind up. Scrum, the ball's in, comes back, Regis wins it, and they get the ball out, no problem. Oh. 
there is some kind of penalty called and it looks like there might be a substitution okay the ref's having a chat with the player who's coming in Now, they're going to form a scrum. To bind up. And there's the scrum. Oh, and an eight-man pick. A gutsy play by Aurora. Oh, and it did not go well for them. Regis has poached the ball on the sideline, but he is brought to touch. And Aurora's going to get the ball back in a line-out. Although they have had some trouble with their line-outs today, Regis has already poached two of them, which is not a good statistic to be playing with. play it and Aurora wins it and forms a mall and they're still moving it oh but the mall falls apart now oh no it hasn't they kept it alive they kept it together but the mall is now stopped so Aurora's gonna have to get the ball out of there oh and the scrum cat the scrum half is tackled before he can pass the ball to the back line Put the forwards for Moroccan and pick and go. Oh, there's a penalty. There's an Aurora player down. But it looks like he's going to be okay and get back up. And the, the Aurora backline has taken a knee, but the forwards are still buying. Oh, and there's the scrum. The scrum has started. Regis came away with the ball there, but we'll see if they keep it. Now they're running with it, but he is getting nothing against the Aurora defense. Ooh, and that guy got tackled way behind the game line. But another player made up the di difference. Well, let's see. And Reeves is going to take it out to the backs. The inside center takes it into contact. And a ruck is formed. Hmm. Mm. Regis gets the ball out, wide to its wings, but nothing there. Can't get around the outside of the Aurora defense. And there's a penalty called there. And it's going to be a scrum. And Regis is going to get to put it in. This is another set piece for Regis deep in Aurora's territory, but they still haven't been able to use one of these to score. We'll see if they can do it this time. There's the eight man pick. Oh, and he breaks through the first leg of the defense. He's going. Oh, it gets. And there's a try. He dives in for the try. There you go. 5-0 Regis. Regis has scored the first points and put themselves on the board with a beautiful, beautiful run. And now the question is, will they be able to kick the conversion? Mm. 
And the kick is good. That's 7-0 Regis. And if Aurora wants to come back here, they're going to have to stop giving up so many penalties. And they're also going to stop, going to have to stop letting the ball get poached on the lineouts. Uh, because those have both been trouble points for them, and that's a lot of the reason that Regis has been able to play most of the game in their half of the field. Roar is lining up to kick it off here. Regis is going to want to try to keep their momentum here and use it to score yet again and build up a lead. Mm. <laughs> oh, and that's that pass is deflected by Aurora. But the ball is going to be called back. It looks like it was a knock-on on Aurora. And that will be a scrum down to Regis. There's the scrum. The ball is in. Regis wins it. And the scrum half just barely gets it away. The kick by Regis. Aurora lets it bounce before receiving it. And, and gets tackled pretty quickly thereafter. Regis has once again put the ball in Aurora's half of the field. And they're planning on keeping it there. Mm. That's going to be a penalty. And Aurora is going to get the kick. Let's see what they do here. Regis has used all of its kicks so far most of its kicks so far to go for touch and they do it again they're going to get yet another line out deep in Aurora's territory which should be good for them although they still haven't been able to turn one into points And they're going to form a mall. Regis is. But the mall isn't going anywhere, so it breaks apart. Oh, and the ball is fumbled. But Regis keeps, keeps control of it. And a ruck is formed. They get it out. Can they score here? Ah. They are getting nothing past this Aurora defense. They're still trying, though. If they can just get one good run. And they give it to a forward pod. And they push through. But, oh, and the ball is fumbled. Regis keeps possession of it, though. And they're going to make another run at the try. Oh, and the rock is getting a little messy there. But Regis comes away with the ball. Oh. And that tackle was questionable. They lifted him up and threw him down. Which is, uh, which is an illegal tackle. But I guess the ref decided it was not unsafe. Regis has the ball. They're pushing forward. They're getting closer to the try. Oh, 
Reed just gets it out. And they're making another run. But Aurora's goal line defense is rock solid. Get it through. And now Aurora's going to get... Uh, Get a free kick with the ball. And let's see. The Aurora fly half is going to kick to touch. Which is going to give Aurora a chance to throw in a line out. Although they have had some trouble with line outs early in this game. Um, Regis has already poached two of them. Uh, on Aurora overthrows. So Aurora's going to have to be careful not to give up the ball here. And the throw... Oh, and it's an overthrow, and Reed just poaches it again. They're going to crash. Oh, and Reed just loses, fumbles the ball, but managed to keep possession of it. Let's see if Reed just can break through the Aurora defense and gain some yards. Oh, and... And there's a wing all alone on the outside there, who gets brought down. And Regis still just getting nothing against this Aurora defense. There, oh, and the ball is poached by Aurora. That Regis player, Regis couldn't form a ruck fast enough, and Aurora got the poach. And now they're swinging it out wide. He has lots of field to run with. Will he be able to score the outside center? Oh, it's a nice run, but eventually brought down. Several yards ahead of the gain line. Now Aurora's going to start to bring it back the other direction. Mm. And there's a penalty on Regis. Aurora is going to get the kick. Let's see what they do here. Oh, and they're going to take a scrum. <laughs> Aurora's put in to the scrum. And hopefully they can keep possession of it. Oh, and, the, and they go with the A-man pick. And the A-man is away. No one can bring him down. Oh, and he gives away the ball. Trying to offload it, he gives it to Regis. But there's the Aurora player. The Aurora fullback drops a pass, but the kick is called back. So it's not going to matter. Now this is a Royals ball off of the penalty and it looks like they're going to kick for points. Now if they make this kick, that'll make the score 7-3. to three. But if they miss this kick, then it's a live ball and Regis can play it. So Regis can't afford to rest on its laurels here. Because if the Aurora Flyer misses this kick, they are live and playing rugby. The kick is up, and it's good. Aurora finally gets on the board, and that's going to be 7-3 to three Regis. This is shaping up to be a pretty good game, folks. And that's halftime.
yard match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Start the stream. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. away from immortality this is a total team effort we're gonna try to dictate to you what you're gonna do on both offense and defense we're gonna come at you one shot now it's time to 
now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. And we're back for the second half of the Regis versus Aurora Rugby Colorado playoff game. Here we go. This is the three seed versus the six seed in the Division I playoffs. And Regis is up right now, seven to three. So Aurora is going to start off the second half with the ball. And none of them. And they are just refusing to go down, offloading the ball anytime someone wraps them up. And they move the ball all the way up to within the 22. Oh, and Regis gets a foot on the ball and kicks it out of bounds. That's going to be an Aurora lineout. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see if Aurora can uh, keep this line up. They've had some trouble today with overthrowing it and turning the ball over. Let's see if they can make this one happen. Oh, and they do as an overthrow, but they manage to keep a hold of it. Running with the ball now. Let's see. Oh, that was uh, that pass hit the ground, but it's okay. They're going to keep playing, and they're very close here to scoring. This is one of the closest they've been all game. Oh, and with the dummy. And Aurora's going to keep going. They've gained a lot of yards off of offloads this half. Now, the rock's a little bit messy. Oh, oh. A little bit of a scuffle out there on the field. It's okay. There's no actual fight. Now it's going to be scrum down, and it's going to be Regis's put in. This would be a really bad time to lose the scrum. So they're going to have to be real careful here. And the scrum is formed. And it gets blown, gets blown up. And it's going to be Regis's kick. It looks like they're going to kick to touch. No, it appears that they're going to try to kick for kick to space and play the ball. Let's see what happens. The Aurora player has picked it up and is running with it. Oh, and he drops the ball, but Aurora keeps possession. Now Aurora has it all the way on the wing, and they're going to start to swing it over to the other side. They have a giant overload, but they drop the ball. Let's see if they can keep their momentum. They have it all the way out on the wing. He drops it, and it goes to touch. It's hard to tell who last touched the ball in all the kerfuffle. But it looks like the line judge is going to call it for Aurora. And they're going to get a line out. Again, a set piece that they've been having trouble with this game.
And the jumper is up. Oh, but Reed just poaches it again on the overthrow. Aurora just can't seem to get their lineouts together today. Oh, but Aurora poaches it back in the ruck. And they're going to have it once again deep in Regis's territory. Oh, and Aurora player is broken away. And he brings it into the try zone and touches it down. That's going to be a try for Aurora and five points, which is going to put them ahead by one. 8-7 Aurora. And with a pretty easy conversion that could quickly make it 10-7. Aurora has taken control of this game in the second half. They came out with intensity. They played in Regis' half of the field. And now they're beginning to see results in a try. And the kick is up, and it's good. Aurora puts another two points on the board, and they're up 10 to seven. They're also gonna get to keep possession of the ball, as Regis is gonna have to kick it back to them. And so, if they can keep up their intensity and their momentum that they had in the beginning of the second half, then this could be a very fun game for them. Now let's see, a ruck is formed off of the kickoff. And Aurora has gotten it out. Looks like they're going to try to swing it wide again. That's been working well for them. And an Aurora player breaks through the fray. Oh! And he almost makes it, but he gets brought down, but only after gaining quite a few meters. That got them so fired up for the second half. Now it looks like there's a line out being formed, and it's going to be Regis's throw in. This look. This play looks more like the first half did, with Regis pushing the ball deep into Aurora territory. Now we'll just see if they can capitalize on it. Oh, and he gets that Regis player driven back quite a bit before he's brought down. But now there's a rock formed, and oh! That's going to be offsides. That Aurora player went offsides and blew up the scrum half before the ball was out of the ruck. Which is, of course, illegal. Oh, and now Regis is going to kick for points. If they convert this kick, then that will give them another three points, tying Aurora's ten points, and they will be able to keep possession of the ball. But again, if they miss the kick, it's a live ball and Aurora gets to play. The kick is up. Oh! And it's no good. Aurora catches it and touches it down in the try zone. 
That's too bad for Regis. They had a good chance there. But it was very windy, and it was a tough kick to make. Now, Aurora has a 22-meter kick. That's a very high one. Oh, and Regis fails to catch it and lets it bounce. And so Aurora is all over them when they get it. Regis is making up some ground, though. Passing it out to their back line. And their inside center crashes it and gains some yards. To their forwards. Crashing it off the sides of the ruck. But they're not getting anywhere against Aurora's defense. And that was a penalty. It looks like it might have been a high tackle on Aurora's number six. One of their flankers. Which is a very dangerous thing to do. And also very illegal. And so Regis is going to get a scrum. And they're going to split their backs. But still keeping most of their backs on the left side here. We'll see if they decide to take a weak side. And get the advantage. Oh, and a tricky play with some switches there. And the outside center crashes it and gains some yards. And the Regis player out of the ruck. Ball out. Mm. And this Aurora defense has been really solid today. Not giving up any big runs by Regis players. Which has been very impressive and very good for them. Part of the reason that Regis has only scored once. Oh, and Aurora has the ball back now, and using the offloads to their advantage, and just pushing up the field, they're just moving, and Regis doesn't seem to be able to stop them, except for there, with the scrum half was tackled before he even got it away. But Aurora is now swinging it out wide to the wing, a part of the field that's been very friendly to them so far this game. And look at the breakaway by that Aurora player. He goes to player after player from Regis, and no one can bring him down. Aurora's moving further and further into the red zone. Oh! And Aurora passes it over the wing. And it almost goes into touch, but he saves it. Oh, oh. A scuffle on the field. Regis and the war both having to pull players out of the fight before it escalates. This can happen. Tensions are running high. This is the playoffs. And there's a lot of pressure. Especially in a game that's this close. And Regis is going to take a kick to touch. Thanks. A move that's been very friendly to them this game. They've done very well on their lineouts. They've even been doing well on Aurora's lineouts. Let's see, they're lining up. The throw. Oh, and Regis catches it, but drops it on the way down. But they manage to keep possession. Oh, but a missed pass on the play. And it's going to be a knock on. Knocked on by Regis. And another dispute on the field. Some more. Scuffling, as they say. A little bit of scuffling.
captains from both of the teams, probably warning them to keep their players acting civil and not fighting like they have been these last couple of plays. It's not part of the spirit of the game. And Regis kicks it to touch all the way from center field. Which was a nice play, and they're going to get a line out now. Which is another good opportunity for them to score. But remember, in the first half, they had a lot of these line outs deep in... Aurora's territory, and they couldn't capitalize on any of them. But maybe the pressures of a of the second half, and now that they're losing, they'll be able to turn it into some points. Bring it out wide, and that Regis player gets tackled and brought down. But Regis is keeping it really in tight, close to the scrums, and not using the sidelines as much as Aurora has been. But nevertheless, Aurora finds itself once again playing goal line defense, trying to maintain their 10-7 lead. And Regis just, just can't seem to break through. Aurora's defense has been rock solid this game. Hardly letting anyone break through. And the ref is going to call Regis on not releasing after being tackled. And Aurora is going to get a kick. They're going to kick for touch, and there you go, a pretty easy kick, as it's been for the most part a pretty quiet day, wind-wise. The roar is now in the position of having to throw a line, having to throw in a line out, which has been tough for them, uh, this game. They've given up at least three to Regis by overthrowing it. But not this time. And they get another run, still using the offload as they love to do. Not going down, but Regis rocks way over and poaches the ball. And, oh, but it looks like. There's going to be a penalty called on Regis for not releasing again. They're going to have to work on that if they want to score in these last couple minutes of the game. Oh, but Aurora now has the ball. Oh, but it's pushed by Regis. Aurora gives it up. Regis has it with plenty of space to run. And can he make it into the try zone? Yes, he does. That is a try for Regis. Five points, and now they're ahead 12 to 10. Constantly shifting game here. Both teams have spent time ahead, and neither one has been able to get the advantage. A very, very fun game to watch. Now, if Regis can make this conversion and make it 14-10, that'll give them a four-point lead. Which is, of course, more than the three points you get 
for converting a three ki free kick, and so Aurora would have to score a try to gain the lead back. So a very, very important kick that's taking place right now. Oh, and they're not, and Reed is not using a tee, but instead having a player hold the ball, and the kick is not good. So 12 to 10, Reed just still has the lead, but only two points. They're going to have to work hard and not let Aurora score at all, if they want to maintain that. And a free kick by Aurora would put them ahead. Which is something to keep in mind as we move into the closing minutes of this game. Now, Regis is receiving the kick. Oh, and Aurora catches it, but it was not 10. And Regis is going to take a scrum uh, in the center of the field. This is important for them. If they can use this opportunity to score, then they can solidify their lead and make it very difficult for Aurora to make a comeback. Regis gets the ball out, and they take it to the weak side, but they're tackled anyways, and Aurora poaches the ball as well, but that's going to get called back, and Regis is going to get the ball instead, because of a penalty, and Regis is going to take the kick to touch. And this is a familiar play we're about to see here. Regis with the line out deep in Aurora's territory. And as you know, Regis has had trouble using these in the beginning parts of this game to score. And Regis keeps it. They receive the... And they form a mall. The ball is out. And they're going to swing it wide. Lots of space to run. Regis has it. Oh! But he, Regis gets brought down before the try line. And Aurora poaches the ball. But Regis poaches it back. And they're right, right on the edge of the try line. They're unbelievably close here. And it looks like Regis is getting going to get called again on not releasing. That's a penalty that's been giving them trouble today. And Aurora is going to try to kick for touch. And the kick is up. But it's not going to make it to touch. It's Regis' ball who kicks it. But then is tackled anyways by Aurora. Let's see who gets the ball. I couldn't tell who touched it last and all that commotion. Looks like Regis did and Aurora is going to get to throw it in. But again, Aurora's had a lot of trouble with lineouts today. They have a tendency to overthrow them. And when they overthrow them, Regis has been very good at poaching them. Throw is up, and Aurora keeps possession in the, during the line out, and they swing it out wide. This is where Aurora has gained most of their yards today, and Aurora is away with lots of space to run. One man to beat. Oh, and he gets slowed down just enough that he can be tackled. 
but he keeps possession of the ball. But no try for Aurora. At least not yet. But Aurora's going to keep trying. They've been very successful on offense this game during the time that they've kept possession of the ball. And so this is a good... Oh. And there's a penalty called there. Aurora gets the ball. <laughs> oh, and he's going to take a tap and go and continue playing the ball. Aurora broken through the defensive line. He keeps going, but can he make it all the way? And he does. He dives into the trial zone. Touches it down and puts up five points. 15-12 Aurora. Aurora has taken the lead once again with a beautiful run. Just a beautiful run by by Aurora. And if they can convert this kick, that would make it 17-12, which would give them a full tries a full try advantage on Regis. Obey it without. That's just assuming Regis doesn't convert. Never mind. Here's the kick by Aurora. The kick is up, and it's good. Aurora has a five point lead and possession of the ball. And they get to receive a kick. This is gonna be very good to them, for them, especially as we are running out of time in this game for Regis to get those points back. Regis kicks it off. Aurora receives it and is brought down. Rock is formed. Now Aurora is going to swing it out wide as they've been doing all game and doing very successfully too. Oh, they have all the space in the world if they just if they can keep from being tackled, but it's brought down before they can break all the way through. Poached by Regis. Penalty called. Aurora's ball. Aurora is choosing to kick for points here. Now, of course, if they make this, that will give them an eight-point lead, which would require Regis to make score a try, make a conversion, and then score again to take the lead back. This is a very important kick for Aurora. But if he misses it, then it's a live ball, and Regis can play it. So a very high-pressure play that's happening right now. The kick is up. And it's no good. Regis is going to kick it right back. But Aurora's fullback receives the ball and is running straight through Regis's defense. Regis just could not seem to bring him down. Now Aurora's going to bring the ball out. Oh, and brought down behind the gain line. That was a good tackle by Regis. Regis is playing some good defense here. This is going to be a scrum down. Regis is put in. The 
ball is in. Hooked back by Regis. The ball is out. Oh, and Regis is going to try to swing it wide. They have space to run. Oh, but he misses, messes up the awful out of tackle. Aurora's player kicking the ball forward. Oh, and he dives into the try zone. What an amazing play. That was a wonderful play. Aurora kicked it up and then dove into the try zone. And this is all but sealed Regis' fate. They're not only down by 10 points with not a lot of time to play, but they're pretty beaten down at this point. They've just been scored on twice in a row, and that never feels good. We'll see if they can rally and build up some intensity to try to make a last-minute comeback. The kick is up, and it's no good. And that's the game, folks. Aurora wins. 22 to 12. But the, but the game was much closer for most of it than the final score would suggest. It was hard fought on both sides. But in the end, Aurora took the victory. And again, we apologize for the technical difficulties we experienced earlier today. But thank you for watching Rugby on EA Live. And we will see you next Saturday with more rugby. Thanks for watching.